It's still the breakfast and plus TV Africa. Uh, we look at the possibility of having Victor Moses back in the team now nearly four years after quitting the Super Eagles following the Nigeria's first round exit at uh, the 2018 World Cup. A former Liverpool star and Chelsea win back Victor Moses is set to return to the national team. This is as Austin Aguavon, the interim head coach of the Super Eagles, says he's persuading Moses to come out of retirement. Whether we like it or not, in quoting his words, Victor Moses will bring some value. And this is according to some report. Uh, but right now, he's playing in Russia. We all know the problem with Ukraine and Russia. I'm happy to say that my conversation with him is settled. According to him, while Moses is not part of the squad that will face Ghana 2022 World Cup playoff, the 2013 African Cup of Nations winner is part of his plan. Now, what does the return of Victor Moses hold for the Super Eagles? We have Mighty George uh, joining the conversation. He's a sports journalist and communications director, Vandreza FC. It's good to have you join us, uh, Mighty George. Thank you very much, uh, Messi. It's great to be here again. Okay, so, so let's get to the crux of this. It's been getting a lot of uh, fans talking and Nigerians reacting to the fact that Eguavo is hinting of having Victor Moses back. Now, the big question is, why do we have to get players who have uh, said that they're retired? They're, they've actually gone away. I mean, we're looking at four years. Why don't we look at uh, using what we have or more like having more talent, new talent on board? Um, well, thanks a lot for, um, you know, the invite once again. I think that we have talked about this in lots of circles after Eguavo released the list, uh, you know, that had Victor Moses, who literally walked out of the team, so to say, after the World Cup. Um, you know, but his appearance for Nigeria was at the World Cup, where he, he scored a goal. I mean, Nigeria was on our way to eliminating uh, Argentina in that game. I was live at the stadium in St. Petersburg, Russia, uh, where, incidentally, Moses now plays. You know, so Aguavon, according to him, he, you know, he likes um, the style of uh, Victor Moses. You know, um, Moses has been an excellent player, running up the wings, getting goals as well. Hasn't got so many in his you know, playing career, but I, I think that um, he brings a lot to the team as well, especially in supply. Uh, when you see the likes of Moses Simon now, the other Moses, you kind of remember uh, Victor Moses as well, uh, especially when he hit the peak uh, during his days with Chelsea. Um, well, Eguavon is, um, he needs to get all the Arsenal's to do the job. Uh, even though he's on an interim basis for now, uh, he has lined up some players new and old in coach that could do the job for him and uh, if he feels that um, victor moses can do the job why not he's playing regularly in spite of moscow and russia and according to Iguavon, he um, has moses on his uh, future plans well the first hurdle is the um you know so that would be uh, determine if Victor Moses would even get back to the team. But he's alerted the whole of Nigeria now that he's bringing him back to the team. And uh, we just want to wait and see how, how that unfolds. Moses has scored only two goals since he joined Spartak Moscow last season. Like I said earlier, his primary objective is not to score goals. He's a winger. And uh, he's still very much, you know, athletic, even at 31. Uh, he brings stuff to the team. He brings things, to, you know, lots of vibrancy to the team. He wasn't asked to leave the national team. He says he was not going to play anymore. Many people took that as a slap. Um, we've had a number of players who have walked out of the team to say, indicated that at some point when he was still expected to, you know, to to fire an all this for Nigeria. Uh, we also had the issue with Vincent de Yama. We knew that was... Uh, part of, um, you know, a scuffle between him and um, Sunday Olesia. So, well, I'm penciling down uh, Victor Moses. For me, it's, I, I don't think it's a bad idea. Uh, but, you know, we have to cross the hurdle first, and which is Ghana, and then we'll see what happens after that. 
Uh, we'll definitely come to Ghana and, and find out if uh, we will be able, you know, to withstand Ghana, however. But let's also, let's also stay, you know, with the issue of Victor Moses coming back on board. Now, if you look at it, the, the query over time, the reason why Gennett War is uh, still not, you know, with the Super Eagles would be the fact that a lot of persons have queried the fact that we lack, you know, tactics. And so if you talk about a tactical manager, he, he was a fantastic coach, uh, you know, and all of that. But, you know, the tactics is what it is. Now, you would agree with me that he, uh, Moses is a winger. And do you think that looking at the, the, the formation now of, I mean, the theme that we have, uh, we seem to have fantastic player but do we need to introduce a winger you know to the play now when you have you know others on board that's that's an excellent question uh, because um Ademola Lukman interestingly whom Nigeria has been courting for a long time finally just agreed uh, to play for Nigeria so he and he's a winger um you know the issue with uh, Lukman um, looks similar to that of Victor Moses, you know, back in 2012 when we were trying to get him to play for us after he played for the England on the 17 and on the 20. So um, it's quite similar. Lukman is like the new Victor Moses. So I expect that um, uh, Eguabon is probably just trying to see if uh, he can get someone who can score goals and also. Um, you know, replace Lukman, so to say. Uh, I'm not sure what his tactics would be, maybe to start uh, Victor Moses ahead of Lukman. But, you know, when you go through all that hassle to get a Lukman, you definitely would want to start him. Uh, so that's that's been the, snap, the, the little question there that, you know, why don't we go for all out attackers and not just wingers? But just in fact that Victor Moses does know how to score goals and uh, the experience that he brings. I think that um, Aguavo is particular about experience. You know, Lukman is a very young lad, um, you know, might have not, definitely has not faced this sort of situation before, um, you know, going to the World Cup if we qualify and also playing against the very big sides, even though he does that week in, week out in, you know, in, uh, you know, England, but playing against national sides. I think it's the experience that um, Aguavo is looking at. Uh, we also have, Moses Simon on the other side. Well, definitely he's covered, but Moses Simon also hasn't been to the World Cup, uh, just like uh, that Victor Moses did. Remember, Moses Simon was dropped just uh, you know some weeks before the World Cup in Russia, which Victor Moses attended. So I think it's the experience part, and uh, we're just hoping that he's right at this one, especially as he has said that Victor Moses has agreed to come back. It's a good thing, you know. Um, we can't just say, okay, let's let's forget them if they walk out of the team. Remember, you know, Joey Gallo too, it was, they tried to bring him back. Um, it's the harmony. And there's something that Guavon said as well. He talked about pacifying, which I really queried. Um, yes, you want to make everybody look good. You feel some people were very angry, um, you know, uh, how they were treated with a national team. He said that for the likes of Ogenyo Nazi, whom <laughs> I'm definitely not sure you know, he can bench anyone on that side. Onazi has also been recalled, uh, which is quite interesting. You know, Etebor as well has been recalled. I think that these players, uh, according to him, weren't treated, treated so well. So uh, he wants to give them another opportunity. Okay, let's see uh, if we can bring some form and dexterity to the team. And, and, and not just uh, with the fact that people will say that, oh, well, they got angry and they left. Uh, you, you know, and maybe... Uh, he, you know, the national team did nothing about it. As the man in charge, I think he wants harmony. Don't forget, tactically, he has also brought in, um, you know, revived the wing play. That's why Moses Simon was doing a great job right there, you know, the flanks. He's also giving them freedom of expression as well. So that could work for Victor Moses, just as it's working for Moses Simon. Experience, uh, uh, I think, you know, will come to play when we're playing at the World Cup. And Moses Simon has that ahead of the other wingers. So, I mean, like I said, let's just wait and see how that goes once we qualify, or if we qualify. Well, uh, so um, let's also talk about the fact that you have a Chukwese also in the system. Some people are saying that the reason that uh, there's a recall for Victor Moses would probably be because uh, Chukwese might not be, yes, we know he's quite young, 
and not so much of the experience, if you want to say, but maybe he's not living up to expectations. Uh, because we're also looking at the potentials in the club already, and the fact that rather than you know recycle, uh, you know old people, but we understand the experience part. But why don't you look for? We're looking at 30, 31 now. He's thirty one compared to at the time where he yeah. left. He was twenty seven. I mean, age you cannot take that away. Well, I mean, you know. Yes, you can take age away, but just two days ago, we saw Aaron Zima 34 and look at the Modric 36 combined to defeat, you know, uh, PSG uh, messlessly that had Messi in it. So those are experienced players, those are old players in quotes, if you want to call them that. And in every national team, you definitely will have, you know, some of these players who are uh, quite older. You have a Musa now who, you know, who is the captain of the side. And that's also one of the remnants of the 2013 uh, Cup of Nations uh, win. We have that in there. We have Musa and, of course, Victor Moses. All right. So um, that's the class. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, I mean, it, it's great. We also have Trigoise. I think Trigoise should be able to make the World Cup squad, but it hasn't been in top form. Uh, you know, like he was in, uh, let's say about a year or two years ago, we all saw his performance at uh, the Cup of Nations. I think it was just overshadowed by uh, too many people and couldn't couldn't hit the bullseye that much. I'm so, not so quickly, Mighty George, uh, Mighty George, we're yeah. running out of time now, but I, I'd like to okay. share your thoughts on this one uh, because we're inching closer to the 25th, 26th or thereabout uh, where we're yeah, supposed to have the playoff with Ghana. Do you see Nigeria uh, winning, I mean, with the formation and with the hint? Uh, we're not very sure if we're going to have Victor Moses playing and some of these persons were called back, but uh, looking at the formation already, is there a possibility that we will conquer, uh, you know, Ghana in this one? This is probably all that we have, you know, the lineup and the, the invites and all that. The only person missing is Alex Iwobi. Um, the crops of these guys played at the Nations Cup. They will be very, very eager to make amends, you know, for crashing out at the group stage, uh, the second round, rather. So uh, we're looking forward to them qualifying Ghana also have a point to prove. They were accumulated at the Nations Cup. It's, it's, it sets up for the biggest, probably, uh, well, all five matches are very big, all five playoffs, but Nigeria-Ghana rivalry has to be one very tough one. And as a Nigerian, and knowing that Nigeria um, posted a, well, a good first half or first round performance at the Nations Cup, I think that Nigeria can spill through. Because these are the players we have. It's just about tuning them up and getting the right tactics, like you talked about the other time. I'm rooting for the Super Eagles. So help us God. <laughs> That's so patriotic of you. Thank you so much, Mighty George, for being part of the show this morning. We do appreciate your time and your thoughts as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Mighty George is a sports journalist and also the uh, communications director of Andreza FC. Uh, thank you so much. Once again, we appreciate you. Well, that's the size of the conversation. If you missed out on any part of it, it's all right to be uh, to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel as at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. I am Messi Bok. We'll see you on Monday.